hairstyling, backstabbing, dancing, literacy, and the ability to weigh things. The five virtues of no one. I'm Burning Dogface, and this is Let's Play Rise of the Argonauts. Oh, we're here on Kithra looking for people who've been turned into statues. Like them! Hey, guys. That was a wait to here test any mortal's patience. Indeed, Gavin. Our thanks to you, young warrior. I am General Aratosthenes, leader of the Silver Order. Sup? Mead! Bring me mead! This is General Galen. And the fellow in the back is Lieutenant Dionysilios. The only one missing is General Erakos. That old fool. You know, I was joking about it being uh, drunk. He looked uh, more like he was crying to me, but I guess he really was drunk. What is the Silver Order? A league of retired officers of the Temple Guard. Technically speaking, you witness an illegal gathering. Faden outlawed our order some time ago. Damn foreigner disbanded the guard. Athena willing, he's long dead now. Mead, I beg you, Mead. Quiet, you. Who is Erikos? He's the eldest member of our order, a retired general. When the Ionians came ashore, our girl Adelpha ran for the swamps. Erechus urged us to take up our arms and protect her, then cursed us all for cowards when we chose to stay here. What can I say? We are old men. Our fighting days are behind us. Hmm. He headed after her alone. He always was a proud one. Oh, my head! Enough, Dio. Friend, if you're headed for the swamps, Keep an eye out for old Erikos. You should be safe in the village. Farewell. Let's see. There was a building I should stay out of because there was a kid in a bed. Yes, there. So I won't go turn the kid back into flesh until I have the healer to fix him. That's really bad in your Where is Uncle? Where is Uncle? Wait for Uncle Kiri. Wait by the virtues! Wait by the virtues! Sweep the floor, Kiwi! Wait by virtues! Fish for dinner! Fish for dinner! Yeesh. Does he remind anyone else of the dwarf from Dragon Age who puts enchantments on your weapons? Welcome back to the world of the living. Your situation still sucks. Praise Athena. Now let us out, Sporus. I beg you. You had your trial. The village may be saved, but you aren't. Yes, Pyrrho. We were given what we were due. It wasn't me! I swear! What crime did these men commit? Murder, sir. They killed their employer and stole his money. Facts were plain enough. Now, why don't you tell us where you hid the loot and go to the underworld with a clear conscience? I cannot tell you what I do not know. And I told you you've already found all that I took! All these years with a death sentence over your head, yet you still spite Athena's virtues? Count your blessings. At least the Ionians didn't get you. If they're already sentenced to die, what reason could they have to keep the money? Could you relate the facts of the case, Bailiff? Both these men, Comius and Pyrrho, served as private guards to Deodorus, a wealthy trader. <laughs> Deodorus. One night, Deodorus' brother Nico came by to visit. 
and found Comius hovering over Deodorus' dead body. During a search of Comius's house, we found the poison responsible. Then we searched Piro's house and found some of the missing money. Clearly, they were working together. It isn't true! He was already dead when I got there! Sure he was, Piro. And whoever murdered him just happened to leave some coin behind for you. I know the evidence does not favor me, but I did not kill Deodorus. I'm tired of arguing. Athena has saved us, and murderers have no place in the new Kithra. They die tomorrow. Thank you again for saving us, stranger. You intend to execute these men in the pillories? I don't look forward to it, but they earned that fate. They killed a good man. Well, time to find the real murderer, then. Where's this go? Nowhere. Let's take a look at the map. Oh my god, uh, that's a lot of quests. Okay, restore the virtues. Uh, restore the people. Purge the Ionian threat. Without pity or mercy, the Ionians came to Kithra to put its people to the sword. Remove the Ionian threat from Kithra by judging all Ionians who remain here. Find the magistrate's daughter. Find the healer. Let's go do that. Find the fleeing Kithrans. Talk to the strange young man. Oh. Well, okay then. Let's do that. Humility is the basis of all virtue. Humility is the basis of all virtue. Wait by the virtues, Kiri. Uncle bring home fish for dinner. Uncle bring home fish for dinner. This one's sure to be a font of information. Courage is always a choice. What are these things he keeps saying? The tenets of the virtues of Athena. He may be simple, but he knows the virtues well. Wisdom is the simplification of knowledge. Wait for uncle. Wait for uncle. Where is your uncle? Uncle Popo, bring home fish for dinner. Hubble must wait. Hubble must wait. Humility is the basis of all virtue. Kiri, humility. Sweet floor, sweet village. Keep clean, keep clean. What is your name, lad? Kiri. Kiri, short for Kirinos. Uncle says Kiri. Kiri says Kiri. Kiri, short for Kirinos. Discipline is the order that allows freedom. Kiri, discipline. Wait for uncle. You know your virtues well. Kiri follows virtues. Athena blessed the small and great. Small and great. Justice is the truth in action. Action! Sweep the floor and wait for uncle. Athena watches all, watches all. We must find this boy's uncle. He needs his guardian. Needs his dinner, too. Boy's as thin as a stick. He keeps going on about fish. Perhaps his uncle's a fisherman. Well then, it might be by the docks. There were, there were dudes by the docks. And one of them was being stabbed. Shit! God, where do I even start? Um... Oh, fucking thing. Uh, okay, so the healer is behind me. What's that? Oh. I thought I couldn't talk to them. Stranger, this may sound odd, but I'm grateful you've come. I'd rather this all be over with than sit and wait another day. You claim you're innocent. What's your side of the story? I'm afraid there's not much to it. That's the problem, really. I got a summons to meet Deodorus at his vault. When I got there, I found him dead. 
Within a few moments, Nico arrived. I understand why he accused me. He did look suspicious. Tell me more about Nico, the traitor's brother. I didn't know him well. He seemed upstanding. Hmm. What of Pyrrho here? Like Sporus said, we both worked as guards for Deodorus. We were never close, but I wouldn't have thought him a murderer. Why would you? You did it yourself! If you are innocent, why did they find poison in your house? I have no answer for that. I certainly didn't put it there. Just admit it, Comius! You could at least save me! I won't lie to save you or myself. Who summoned you to meet Deodorus? Kyrinos, the village simpleton. People often have him deliver messages. He may be slow, but he always gets it right. What was the message exactly? Just that Deodorus wanted to see me at his vault. That's all. Same here! The idiot told me the exact same thing! If I learn anything more, I'll let you know. Stranger, you have to listen to me! I'm innocent! Comius poisoned him, not me! Tell me your account of the crime. I got a summons to meet the boss at his vault, so I went. When I got there, the old fool was unconscious and the vault was open wide as Leto's legs. Who summoned you to meet Deodorus? That idiot Kyrinos gave me the message. One thing he's good for, at least. Told me the boss wanted to see me at his vault. That's all. The old traitor was unconscious, you say. So he wasn't yet dead. That's the thing. I didn't think he was gonna die. How do you explain the money they found at your house? Look, I took some of the money. I've admitted that from the start. But when I got to the vault, it was wide open. Most of the coin was gone, but there was a little left. I figured Deodorus owed me as much for the way he's always treated me like a slave. I took the money. I shouldn't have, and I'm sorry, but I didn't kill him. What do you think of Comius? Always seemed like an honest man just goes to show. They found the poison at his place, right? What more do you need? I certainly didn't conspire with him. Now, if only he'd admit to it, I'd be spared. I have nothing to admit, Pyrrho. Ha! You see? If I learn anything more, I'll let you know. Interesting. Hey! The game had the same idea I did! Okay, um... Fine, let's follow this line of thought. Then we'll go get his uncle. Do you know the two guards locked in the pillories? Comius and Pyrrho. Comius and Pyrrho! Boss wants to see you! Deodorus, way to get his vault! Way to get his vault! Right. You gave them that message. Kiri always tell the truth. Humility starts with honesty. Who told you to give them the message? Was it Deodorus himself? No! No! Not Deodorus! Brother! Nico! I see. Thank you, Kyrinos. Well now. If I had any idea where Nico was. Wait. Uh this one, I think. I wonder if I could actually bring that guy some mead. I 
really reassuring to me if I could hit a checkpoint or something. Come on, there are like 15 of them on Yolkos, and a place is way smaller than this. Wait, is this even the right way? Yeah, it is. Good! Oh, right, the Ion Ionians. Try to sneak over here. I'll be right with you, folks. Ah, oh, there we are. Except for these stairs. God damn it. He must have landed while we were in the swamps. Hurry, to his boat. We'll kill his crew and lay in wait. I'll save you the wait. There he is. Kill him. Ooh, one of those spirit copies. Hey, fucker! Ha! Right, that doesn't do anything. Uh. Yep, that guy got stabbed, all right. Oh! Praise Athena! They say patience is a fisherman's best friend. But even patience has a limit. I am Polemon. Uncle Popo! Thank you for saving me. Do you have a nephew, Polemon? A boy by the name of Kiri. Kyranos? Is he well? In a manner of speaking. He's waiting for you in the village, along with the others we've restored. They must be famished. I can't go back empty-handed. Let me catch some supper. Don't tarry long, Polima. There is still danger. I understand. Now, let's see if the fish are still biting. Ares would never do this to those he favors, turn them to stone. Perhaps Athena believed everyone was culpable to some degree for the theft of the fleece. Even still, it's a stiff punishment. Huh! What does the fleece have to do with anything? Is that when the, when the fleece was stolen? Is that what that was about? Incidentally, this guy right here, you know what the worst part of that is? He was a statue, not a skeleton. Which means, he was still alive when they got frozen. He was in the middle of receiving a fatal wound when he got turned into a statue. So for all these years, he'd been sitting here waiting for the moment when he would unfreeze and die. That's some I have no mouth but I must scream bullshit right there. Oh, and by the way... Yeah, stone armor. What was that you were saying? <laughs> oh, I just got that one. Whoops. It's mostly because the uh, sword does so little damage against shields, and basically everyone has a shield.
All right, let's clear up this group of dudes up here. And, uh, call it a video. Hey, fuckers! Harm these men. Watch your men. Come on, men. Stuck away from that. Get out of my damn way. everything. I finally managed to get a downed attack with the spear. And the second time I got into that fight in the uh, square there. You guys didn't get to see it. I'm kinda bummed about that. Shank! Oh, uh. Oh. Nope, nope. Going around. Oh, there is a dude! Finish him! I am Pavlos, foreman of this mill. What mill? These are my men. Uh, sorry. Give me a moment. My knees are still shaking. You fought bravely, Pavlos. Whoa. To tell the truth, I've never been more afraid. Aha! That's what that dude said. Without fear, there can be no courage. Overcoming fear is what makes one brave. What's your story, Pavlos? Not much to tell. I run the mill. Keep watch over these men. You've done more than that. We owe our lives to Pathanos. He saved us from Faden. All of us here were sentenced to death in Faden's court. Pathanos convinced him to put us to work instead. I deserve no credit. It was Perseus's idea. What were you men convicted of? Oh, we are all brutal, brutal criminals. I was caught outside after curfew. And I, I was overheard calling Faden a meddling outsider. For such offenses, Faden and his judges decreed death. Ah, yes, that's not justice at all. You knew Perseus. After Faden seized the temple, Perseus came and lived among the people in the village. He suggested I recruit convicts to work at the mill to save them from Faden's perverted judgment. The village is safe now. You should bring these men back. I think we should first secure the mill. We're going to need wood to rebuild, and lots of it. We'll be all right here. My thanks again to you. Some of these swampers should count themselves fortunate to have been turned to stone. These Ionians would have spared no one, except for those they needed for galley slaves and other purposes. I wonder if the grey-eyed goddess felt too close to the people here to serve as an unbiased judge. 
I wonder if that's why my eyes do that sometimes, because I'm in line with one of the gods. It's a big ass saw, fuck. Um In any event, I'm Burning Dog Face, and this has been another intriguing episode of Let's Play Rise of the Argonauts. I'll see you next time when we continue to explore Kithra and look for more survivors. Later!